I have some upcoming plans for 10 gig storage servers, but I don't have any 10 gig network hardware here. So I bought some. I generally shop with a budget in mind and much of what you see on this channel is budget focused. What I found today was the Acasis 10 gigabit ethernet adapter model number NT0201. Connects via USB-C or Thunderbolt 3 and 4. Supports 10 gigabit networks, 5 gigabit networks, 2.5 gigabit networks, 1 gigabit, 100 megabit, and 10 meg via one RJ45 port. The device supports Windows, Mac, and Linux. The price on this was fair, and I found the adapter for about $50 or $60 below similar adapters available online. I couldn't find any other information about this adapter online, so that's why we're here today. Let's get into it. The adapter came with a Thunderbolt 4 cable, cable tie, the adapter itself, and a manual. Warranty on the device isn't listed on Amazon, the packaging, or the manual inside the box. I found it on the manufacturer's website and listed as one year. The adapter feels insubstantial in your hand. It weighs only four and a half ounces and measures three and a half by two and a half by one inch. The case is made of aluminum and the two end caps are hard plastic. There's a single port on each end of the device, one USB-C 40 gigabit port and the other a RJ45 ethernet port. It's lightweight and the hard plastic end caps give it a slightly cheap feeling. One thing to note is that the manufacturer advises that this only works with USB 4 and or Thunderbolt 3 or 4 ports. So how does it work? On my MacBook running OS Sequoia, it was plug and play. It worked without any software or driver install. File transfer speeds are as expected for a 10 gigabit adapter. One gigabyte per second with file copy to another local machine. Moving into iPerf 3, we can also see some detail here as well showing a gigabyte per second right exactly where we should expect this device to be performing. On Windows, I just needed to download a driver from the manufacturer's website to which the location was conveniently listed on the box of the product. With the driver installed on my framework laptop, this adapter worked as expected, achieving a gigabyte per second read and writes. File copy speeds were also about a gigabyte per second as well to a local machine. Overall, in the last couple of days of using this adapter, I'm very pleased, especially considering the price paid for this, it's lightweight, and small size make it an easy accessory to travel with. It essentially fits in the palm of your hand, although you won't be holding this in the palm of your hand, as during use it gets a little bit warm. After a handful of file transfers, the case temperature measured around 116 degrees Fahrenheit or about 46.6 centigrade. I'm looking forward to leveraging this device in some additional 10 gigabit server videos coming up here in the future. Thanks for watching.